tankers. We invite you to the update 1.17 common test. There you can check new stronghold features and the biggest ever addition to Steel Hunter. This includes three new tanks, a new map, two player platoons, an entirely new economy. But that's not all, so let's dive into the details. The recon mission mode will return to the main servers in June. It will not be launched immediately on the test server and will only be there for a limited time. You will be able to check three new maps and three improved maps from the previous launches, as well as a changed format. Now all six maps will be tested simultaneously in one iteration. There will be other enjoyable changes, but the main rules will remain the same. The iteration will take place a bit later in June, but for now, your participation in the common test will help us test the stability of the future version. Combat reserves will be reworked for strongholds. Instead of two similar reserves that cause damage, only one will cause damage, while the other will become a tactical one. You'll be able to take two combat reserves of different types into battle. Inspire will become a tactical reserve. It improves the characteristics of both the players and allied vehicles within the area of its effect, similarly to Frontline. Once the reserve is ready, the player who's been assigned Inspire can activate it for some time. The higher the reserve level, the higher the radius and effect. The Inspired Tanker is highlighted in battle for both allies and enemies. Artillery Strike was also changed. It will now cause more predictable, fixed damage. The effect area will be displayed to both teams and can be left to avoid receiving maximum damage. The higher the reserve level, the higher the radius and damage caused. The Room Creator can keep both reserves to themselves, assign them to any player on their team, or distribute them among different players. This way, one will become a Gunner and the other an Inspirer. The Stronghold Economy will be logically adjusted. With two Combat Reserves, the total bonus to Industrial Resources will remain the same as before. With the release of the updated Stronghold, old structures will be converted to the new ones with level retention. Additionally, clan commanders and officers will receive in-game notifications that will help them learn more about combat reserves. They will give you more space for unusual tactics and glorious victories. The Tank Battle Royale is back. In addition to the two familiar maps, Steel Hunter will feature a third one, Fear Null Fear. Despite all the cold, this rough northern tundra won't let you freeze. It will become your new hunting ground, the perfect arena for the strongest, and the place of your triumph. Some mechanics have been reworked. The zone will now close based on the number of remaining players. The rules of loot spawn and its contents have been changed. The minimap will display spoils of war from destroyed vehicles. Collecting your spoils will become riskier, but you'll be able to snatch the spoils of others more often. The chance of finding valuable loot and troubles will increase. Their names are Huragan, Bai Long, and Beowulf. In the common test, you can be among the first to test these three new tanks with unique abilities. The Huragan medium tank will come down on the enemy like thunder and lightning. Its first ability is Electric Discharge. It creates an area in which tanks receive periodic damage and lose mobility while in the area and for some time after. Using Repair Kit will remove the effect. Its second ability is Surging Fervor. It worsens the aiming time and stabilization, but increases the damage of the next shell upon each penetration. It can be increased up to five times. The increase resets if you miss or don't cause damage. The Light by Long knows everything about aggressive scouting. Its acid shell has increased penetration, and when causing damage, it erodes the enemy vehicle from the inside. The effect can be reset with the repair kit, but if the enemy doesn't have one, good luck to them. Additionally, the Bai Long can deploy a battlefield robot.
It chooses the nearest target, chases it and fires at it, trying to reach its sides or rear. If you ignore the robot, it can chew down even large prey. The last one is the heavy bear wolf. It's the master of survival in a wasteland. Its first ability creates a ring of fire around it, decreasing the enemy's vehicle mobility and causing damage to it. Adaptive armor momentarily restores a part of the vehicle hit points, but that's not the most interesting part. When the ability is active, it accumulates all incoming damage from shells and abilities and then converts it into hit points for Beowulf and an ally if they're close. Keep in mind that all abilities and characteristics of all tanks are preliminary and may be changed. Three tanks will always be available to play in, Arlequin, Raven and Variag. The other tanks will be available for rent. The first rental of each vehicle is free, and then you will need Steel Seals. This is a new currency that you can earn in Steel Hunter, depending on your place and mission completion. The earnings of other currencies will change. Your credits and combat experience income will depend on how much damage you cause, how many modules you damage, how many enemy vehicles you destroy, and of course, on how high your final place is. Your credits and XP income can be increased by the bonus from playing in a platoon and from personal and clan reserves. In addition to XP and credits, premium accounts will increase the earnings of Steel Seals. And of course, you'll be able to earn Battle Pass points in Steel Hunter. Also, a separate player statistics window in Steel Hunter was added. And here's something for dessert. From now on, you don't need to look for a third player to hunt with your friend. Platoon play in the mode will only take place in duos in battles of 20 players. Find out if you and your platoon mates can become the best of 10 platoons. Test all changes, and if you like them, you can hit like under this video. Good hunting in the common test.